Hello everyone and welcome to Miss Sprinkles Delights. And on today I'll be showing you how to do air fried coconut curry chicken and potatoes over perfect cooker rice. So let's get started. And here you see all my ingredients. I will be using um, three gadgets today. Air fryer, perfect cooker, and a Cook Essentials multi cooker. And here I season my chicken wingettes with Slap Your Mama and garlic powder. I didn't want a lot of seasonings on them just based on the fact that I am doing curry and that's enough seasoning for me. So I didn't want to take away from what um, my original dish was. Just going to place them into the air fryer. And placing these in the air fryer, I actually got 20 wingettes in the air fryer. So if you strategically put them in there, you should be able to fit about the same. And I'm just going to spray them with the Pam olive oil cooking spray. And then we're going to put them into the air fryer. And we did do these at 380 for 20 minutes. We're going to flip halfway. And here I have a Cook Essentials Perfect Cooker. Um, we'll be doing our rice in here. I will be adding just a touch of coconut oil. And also you guys, um, check out Cooking with Doug's um, Perfect Cooker group on Facebook. I will put that link in my description for you guys. We're going to do one cup of white rice. And to that, we're going to add one cup of water. So it's one to one in the perfect cooker. And this perfect cooker can be used for different things, not just rice. It does have a rice button, but this thing um, can be used for multiple things. Lasagna, soups, dips, anything like that. So here we're going to add some pink Himalayan salt. And some black pepper. Give it a little stir. And then we're just going to put it on and we are going to hit the rice button. And the rice button goes for I think it's 20 minutes. And you don't have to check on it or anything. It's just automatically goes into keep warm mode. And here we have hit that 10 minute mark on our wingettes. And now I'm just going to flip them. Now typically you guys know my chicken does not usually um, unseasoned or low season like it is right now. But it's only because I'm doing curry. So we'll put it back in the air fry, do additional 10. And here we're using the Cook Essentials uh, multi cooker. I just add a little coconut oil to the base and we put it on saute mode. And here I have a half of onion in my um, gadget, little mini chopper. And then we are going to add that to the coconut oil so we can sweat the onions out. And this multi cooker does a lot of stuff to bake, roast, stew, um, saute, slow cook. And here we are going to add one teaspoon of minced garlic.
and you stir it around. And now we're going to add our curry powder and I'm going to do two tablespoons of curry. You use total optional as much as you want to use. If you want to use less curry, please by all means do that. Um, I just really like curry, so I use two tablespoons. And I'm going to add one teaspoon of um, ground ginger. And we're going to stir it around. Um, we're letting the curry cook down a little bit as far as flavor wise. That's why I did add it to the onions for now. And then we're also going to add a teaspoon of ground turmeric. And we are going to add one can of coconut milk. Um, I do not like using the light coconut milk because it's just not thick enough. Um, so just use one can of the full fat coconut milk and stir it around and you'll begin to see the color change um, once it's got mixed around really well. And the more you stir it, the more you cook it, the color change, begins to change more, looking like um, a curry, yellowish color. And here the wings are done. Typically, you guys already know, my wings would not look this pale. They would not actually look like this, only because there's no seasoning. Did not do a lot of seasoning. Not trying to make hot wings. I just wanted to get my chicken more than halfway done because I am going to put it on slow cook high in my uh, multi cooker so the chicken will actually cook off um, the rest of the way in my multi cooker now we're just going to continue to stir um, our curry sauce and I also cubed four white potatoes and I'm going to put those into the curry sauce so they can begin to cook off for me And next I'm going to add half of this box of chicken broth and that's to um, thin out the um, curry chicken gravy I guess you could say to thin it out some because coconut milk will make it thick along with starchy potatoes so starch is going to make um, the sauce a little thick so use a half a container of the chicken broth. Add more, add less, depending on how you like it as far as consistency is a concern. Um, so then we're just going to take our chicken wingettes and add them to the sauce. Now this is still on saute mode um, for the multi-cooker. Alright, you're just going to coat your chicken with the sauce. Mm -hmm. 
and here we are going to put set the time on our multi cooker and I did set it on slow cook high for one hour to finish cooking off my potatoes and to finish off my chicken and here's the rice in the perfect cooker which was done and here you go guys here is air fried coconut curry chicken over perfect cooker rice and as always thank you for stopping by please like share and subscribe and happy new year